Yo, home hearties, and welcome back to another video. My name is Captain Pineapple, and oh, he didn't remove that gravel. We're back on the Minecraft Survival Series, and I will explain that. Also, I don't actually have that long to make this video entirely. And I do have my sword, okay. Well, no, I have a while, but... I do kind of want to get this done soon, but it should be fine, hopefully. And I will explain that. Um. Oh. Oh, oh no. You never mind it out. Oh no. I will explain that. So, basically, um. After recording the last video on here. Um, basically, I let Sheffy Sheffy join onto the server, and we were just messing around on here. Last I saw, he was going mining, and I trapped him with a load of that, so, yeah. But, um, I, I wanted to play a little prank, and yes, this is me admitting I did it, and he knows that I did it anyway, but, yeah. I wanted to play a prank, and I basically put a load of gravel on here, so you'd have to mine it all out as he, if he ever wanted to get out of his house. I mean, he, he could have put torches under, and I think he did, but it was just fun to repeatedly put a load of gravel there. So, that, that's, that's why there's a massive tower of gravel. Anyway, right. I know that there wasn't an episode on Saturday, and it's kind of embarrassing why there wasn't. Basically, like, OBS Studio, which is what I used to record, it basically stopped sensing my microphone, it completely ignored that it existed, and I don't know, I don't know why it changed the settings by itself. But, it took me way too long to work that out, and I didn't have time to record a video, because, fun fact, that video would have been recorded and uploaded on the exact same day. Which, I could have done, but, to be honest, I'm kind of glad that it broke, because, I don't know, I didn't have to do it all in one day. But, yeah, that that's, that's why there was no video on Saturday, and also I know that I'm stuttering, I've been recording for two minutes. And 44 seconds. I heard that Enderman. Yep, it's right there, okay. So, that's why there wasn't a video on Saturday. I ended up getting it fixed the day after, though, and this video is being recorded on Monday, so no, I did not do anything on Sunday. That's that sign. Right, Dave's Newspaper Incorporated. Last episode, Captain Pineapple travels to the swamps and collects slime needed for pistons and is, re uh, and is ready to add traps into the pyramid. Yes, and again, no special shout out. Please subscribe. I don't want to remove that myself, actually. I'm gonna wait until Sheffy Sheffy gets on here next time, and I'm, I'm gonna hope that he removes it. If he doesn't remove it then, then I'll remove it myself, but, uh, yeah, peak laziness. Alright. Oh yeah, and when we went to the swamp, I actually got some oak saplings as well. So, now we have the oak wood that we needed. We need some of that. We're also going to need some of that, and we are going to need wood. I need to remember the crafting recipe for pistons. I think that it's that, maybe that 21 on all of them, I, I think it's, it's not that, um, what's the, what's the crafting recipe for pistons, is it, wait, I, I swear it was that, is it not? 
There's the recipe for sticky piston. Where's just normal yeah. piston? Yeah. Oh! Oh, it takes iron. Oh. 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 Well, we're going to go and dig into our iron supply because we need a lot of pistons. Uh, do we have any in here? We have two. I'll take it, but it's, it's not much really, is it? And you know what? I'll put those there. And the TNT can go right in the centre. There we go. Uh, which pile do we take it from? I think this one. So. There we go. Right, we have that. You know what I just realised? We might actually want observers in some of these traps, but we don't have a nether portal. I'm pretty sure you need quartz for observers, don't you? Oh, that is something I did not think of. I just did it again, didn't I? I... Yeah, that's something I didn't think of. We need observers. Oh, uh, how many pistons should we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe for that. Uh, I kind of want another six, really. Right, we've got that, and let's do this, and that, and I did that again. Let's just put the full stack there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six again. And how many more? How many more? We've got to go with more. Surely, like, we, we've got to have more. Hmm. Hmm. It's actually a predicament. I don't know how many we should do. Right. We're going to do that many, I think. So, actually, we didn't need that other block, I don't think. And why am I going through this? For that? Why don't I just... Right, and... You know, I feel like this pile hasn't had enough love. Let's give that one more. Maybe I should put it there. Huh. I don't know. Right, anyway, we really should get onto this time. Oh, it's nearly night time. Right, 50 slime balls. Uh, all of these are going to be sticky pistons. So... There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna put this in here because slime balls are actually quite rare. Well, they're not rare in most worlds, but they're rare here. Alright, on to the first time lapse. Okay, right, pausing the time-lapse, 
there's something screwing me over here. It's called quasi connectivity. And it's not fun to deal with, really. Quasi connectivity is basically where you see this. When this is activated, for some reason, it's powering this piston. Everything else is powered by that redstone on the block there, but you see, this piston stays activated because this is active. There's no reason it should do that, but it does. So, quasi connectivity is actually making this a lot harder. So, if. Yeah, I know it's obvious where the tripwire is as well. Like, that's kind of why I put it around the corner, but yeah, like, there's no easy way to do it really. Hmm. I don't know how to really solve this, because I don't think there is a way of solving quasi connectivity. And that is its real name, so. Yeah, I don't know who came up with that name, but quasi connectivity. So, just where something's powered when it should not be powered. I just got trapped by my own trap because I was running back to get my stuff. Wow. I I actually got trapped by my own trap. That is that is really embarrassing. But I mean, it proves that it works at least.
Okay, that's going to end the time lapse. And oh my god, I am an idiot. I did not think about any of these traps. So, the one over here is actually quite good. It does work quite well. I mean, of course, it's not as obvious, but, oh no, it is, it's not, like, very hidden, which is really annoying. But the thing, <laughs> I think, the way I'm going to fix that problem is to actually put just fake traps. So, you'll come around a corner and you'll see something like this and you'll be like, ah, right, there's a tripwire hook there. That means that there must be a trap here, and you'll turn around, but really, it won't do anything. So, there'll just be like this tripwire and some string across here, and whoever comes across will go, Oh no, there's a trap there, and they'll turn away. There won't actually be a trap there. Also, that, that was caused by Sheffy Sheffy. I, I told him not to lead the creeper over to the pyramid, and what did he do? He led the creeper over to the pyramid. It went boom. Anyway, yeah, so I want to add fake traps and it is going to require iron, so I'm going to need to go mining and I will do it off camera when I feel like it. <laughs> so I, I'm going to add fake traps, so it's actually going to be quite fun and I left my crafting table. And yeah, there's a problem. This trap over here, half a heart of damage, half a heart, and also, you'll notice those blocks don't come out, reason why, if there is a piston behind that block, the tripwire instantly activates it, and it puts a block there, and prevents you from moving forward, which just completely removes the point of the trap. I, 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 I hate, I hate that I thought it would work. Oh. Uh, so, this trap is probably going to move back one block, and when we do eventually go to the nether, I will add a, um, I'll add a pulse extender. So, there'll be a pulse extender, which basically means that this signal, which can last for a split second, because look, look, at how, look at how long these pistons are activated. Not long at all. So, I'll add a pulse extender, which will basically mean that that signal will last for longer, and so it's actually going to be a bit a bit more deadly because right now it does half a heart of damage and that can be instantly healed so yeah so it's not an effective trap right now but once there is a pulse extender this will hopefully be a bit more lethal and i know that my redstone absolutely sucks i am quite good at redstone but i i for some reason i'm not very good with this so yeah, that, that is a bit of a problem, but it's, it's fixable, so I might do some stuff off camera, but I'm not going to go to the nether for a long time, so that's, so some of these traps will not be effective at all, but I, I do like where it's going and I know that there's only two traps right now but I've been recording for almost an hour and I do need to get this video done quickly so yeah and you saw it in the middle of the time lapse but in case you didn't watch all of the time lapse in which case why didn't you but yeah, you you probably saw it in the time lapse. If you didn't, then I'll show it now. I never made that into bread. I don't have enough for another chest. I can't get on. There we go. All right. So I'll just quickly show off what this trap does. Oh, I'll put stuff in this. This chest is actually because um, Sheffy Sheffy accidentally killed me. 
and so he put all of my stuff in that chest, except he didn't put half of my stuff in that chest and kept it for himself. Thief. But yeah, this one is actually quite brutal. You're stuck in water here. You can't get out. It takes too long to mine. Well, no, it might not actually take too long to mine, but no, no mining the pyramid. Let's just call it a gentleman mine. But remember, whoever's in here is also going to be a bit shocked. Like, what the hell? I just fell through the floor. Oh my gosh, I'm in water. So they might not think to instantly break the wall or the floor or anything like that, which is why that might be a fairly deadly trap actually so that's that's why it's going to be like that and I forgot that I had a jukebox I don't know why I just pointed that out but yeah so it's actually quite a brutal trap because it's like it doesn't even kill you it's not gonna be like other traps that I want to do where you just straight up fall to your death that's it no like you you're going to be alive and you're going to be in that water for a while so it's it's fairly brutal and yes there are ways to beat it like if you had a water breathing potion which is a bit overkill to be honest um then you could escape of course and just like if you had a good tool you could probably break through so just kind of gentleman's rules don't break my stuff really but yeah that's going to end this video here, I do hope you have enjoyed it, I need to make more pistons and get more slime. I don't want to go back to the swamp. So, I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.